Sligo were looking to cement fifth place in the league as they welcomed Wexford Juice to the showgrounds, as well as looking for their third straight league win of the season against the visitors, and they took the lead on 17 minutes through Kieran Sadlier. And they got a second on 24 minutes, a good, strong, surging run down the right-hand side by Adebayo rolling, took him past the defender, and his high-hanging cross was headed in by Sadlier, up and over the youth's goalkeeper, Graham Doyle. Sliger were then denied a penalty before the break as a poor header picked out Sadlier, who in turn played in Adebayo rolling, who went to ground under the challenge of Conor Sutton. The Sligo man was adamant he had been tripped, but referee Dave Keeler wasn't impressed and booked the Sligo man for simulation. Sloppy Wexford defending almost led to a third for Sligo before the break as the ball found its way to Jimmy Cohan, but his crisp left foot volley was well saved by Doyle and it remained 2-0 at half-time. Wexford replaced Doyle at half-time, bringing in Corey Chambers between the posts, but the new keeper was then picking the ball out of his own net on 51 minutes as Daniel Kearns hit the post. He was then on hand to score from the rebound to make it 3-0. Sligo then made it 4-0 six minutes later. Good work by Kearns in the left-hand edge of the Wexford area. His cross then picked out Kyohan, who controlled with his chest before rolling the ball to the net. It was becoming an embarrassingly one-sided game now as Sligo went in search of yet another before the end. Adebayo Rowling just wouldn't give up the ball. He picked out Patrick McCann, who in turn played in Kyohan, who shot at the post. But the danger wasn't over yet. Utes gave the ball away in the area, but McCann blazed the loose ball over the crossbar. Keep playing was the instruction, and the fifth came a minute into injury time. McCann rolled the ball to substitute Michael Place, who put it under the body of the advancing Chambers. And celebration time for the substitute. A facile win for the home side. It finished Sligo Rovers 5, Wexford Utes 0.